I had to go back to work in January 2011. Emotionally and mentally, I wasn't ready, but we needed an extra salary. I was diagnosed um, in October 2009. Um, I realised I was uh, early that year I was pregnant on my first child and I found a lump in my groin. I uh, didn't think I'd get much of it because I thought it was pregnancy related. My son was born in the April so I think a few months after I noticed I still had the lump. And after initial scans and tests that October I was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's follicular lymphoma. Medical bills were a huge impact. I was on a lot of medication. I wasn't entitled to the medical card, so we had to fund them ourselves. Um, I had to get a wig. My hair fell out of my second treatment. That was a huge cost. I had to fund ourselves. I had to send my, send my child to um, crash full time as I was so sick. Um, we also had um, extra bills from car parking in the hospital. We could be there for 12, 13 hours, even longer, and we had to pay for them. Food in the hospital. You didn't come prepared because you didn't know how long you were going to be. I think when I was having my treatment, maybe my husband shielded a lot of it from me. And then probably six, to, I think it wasn't probably till nine months or nearly a year later, we realised what bills had accumulated. I had to go back to work in January 2011. Emotionally and mentally I wasn't ready, but we needed an extra salary coming in to pay for these bills. We had accumulated 12,000 credit card bill, with credit union loans, we still had to pay our mortgage, our car payments, all the other bills on top of it. Um, and at that stage I was on illness benefit. I think when I was attending hospital um, and visiting the nurses, and the hospitals were brilliant, but just to have a social worker to make sure that the realisation that it is very expensive and what, at what stage you can save costs and what you can do, um, I think that would have been a great help and that would be a help for anybody you know, in the position of getting get cancer treatment. For anyone that's newly diagnosed, I'd recommend them to reach out to the Irish Cancer Society and to talk to somebody. If they don't feel they're able, probably would be better for another member of their family to go and talk to them and ask them about the financial implications of what happens when you have cancer. Because the person going through cancer, it's very hard for them to deal with. They've been overwhelmed with all this information. And like they're probably taking it day by day, hour by hour. So even to you know, get a, um, a carer or a family member to get in contact because the Irish Cancer Society can give them many resources that will help them.